most people are a slave to other people's opinion. And the characteristic trait that I think I admire most in people is not how successful they are in any demeanor, even though that is something I hold in very high regards. It's almost always if someone is just unapologetically themselves and completely does not care what other other people think in any manner. They just do whatever they want to and stay true to themselves. And I mean, I've only ever met maybe a handful of people who do this all the time, who just always stick to themselves. And they are just absolute legends in my book. And it's something that I try and emulate uh, for myself because it's such a, it's such a great skill or, and it's not even a skill. It's just, how do you not care what other people, other people's opinion of you are? Because if you do that, you will have people who don't like you, which is good. And you will have people who really like you, which is also good. But you're not going to just tread a line of never having opinion on anything because you want everyone to like you. For me, I really hate that approach. And some people are unconfrontational, and that is what they want. But I, from a moral standpoint, disagree with that. I, I think it is okay and it is right to not have an opinion if you have no opinions. Uh, I mean, having no opinion is an opinion of itself. It means you choose not to to think through subjects. And so if you haven't thought, thought something through, that is completely fine. But to just be scared to speak, that is a different one. And I've been in that position many, many times before where I don't say what I actually think, even though I want to because I was scared of the consequences of whatever my thoughts may proceed. But there's this one old lady, and right now I'm at a, a conference for, the, for real estate. It's called the Real Estate Guys Cruise, which is the most spectacular event ever. People pay a ridiculous amount of money to go here. And one of the speakers, her, 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 she reminds me a lot of my grandmother in a lot of ways, because she's an older lady. Uh, she's kind of just like a firecracker. But she was just saying shit that everyone else was thinking. She was saying, if you send your, your kids to school where they're being taught how to be a transgender, you are, you are a problem. If you let your kids get to this stuff, you are the problem. Like, like, this should be unacceptable. And that was some of the more milder <laughs> things that she was saying. And she didn't give a fuck. She gave zero fucks. Zero. And I just, I thought that was hilarious. Another person, this guy, Doug Casey, who I've fortunately become really good friends with, he is the most savage human on the face of the planet. But it's really not. He just says what he believes. And he does not care what anyone else thinks. One time, he's really known for hating uh, mainly government employees because of the incentive structure it gets to get into government and kind of rise the ranks. And I one time was walking through the airport with him after an event. We were, didn't go to the airport together, but we saw each other there. And so I was walking through security with him. And he hates authoritarianism. Uh, he's a complete libertarian. So we were walking through the TSA, and everyone knows how authoritative these TSA people can be. Get in line, take your bag, take your shit out your bag, put it on the counter. You know, just aggressive for absolutely no reason. And of course, they had to stop Doug when he's walking through the scanner. And they say, Well, do you have any metal on you or anything? And they say, No, well, I'm going to have to pat you down. And Doug, looks him up and down as this guy is getting on his knees to shake him. And he just says the most savage thing to this man I have ever heard in my entire life. And I don't remember it verbatim, but it was something along, along the lines of when you were a child and you were thinking of your future pr uh, profession, did you think you would be shaking down another man's crotch? And this guy looks up to him as he's, jingling in his pockets to make sure he has no weapon. He said, what'd you say? He said, well, matter of fact, you probably don't think too much in general. <laughs> and I mean, why the hell would you say that to another human? Uh, I, and I'm not saying I would say that to somebody, but this guy just does not give a fuck. He is just going to tell you what he thinks. And some people absolutely love him for it. If you agree with what he says, even if you, I, I don't agree with everything that he says, but I don't care about that. I just wildly respect the fact that 
he is going to say what he believes in, no matter what. For me, that's a characteristic trait that I, I admire in people. To not care what other people think. Or even if you do care, being okay with the consequences that come. That's something that I'm most certainly trying to work on. And I've gotten a lot better over time. But I think that has come with being able to coherently express my thoughts. Because before, I would say it was all swizzles. Even if I knew the answer, if I knew the conclusion, I didn't know the process to get to the conclusion for whatever argument I was trying to, uh, let's say, get into. So I couldn't express what I was trying to say in a well enough degree. Therefore, it was futile to get into debates because I actually didn't know the concepts well enough. But now I have practiced my speaking abilities quite a bit. So I've gotten a lot better at it. So I'm much more open to going into these types of discussions if I do disagree with somebody, but still not to the extent that I need to be, or I wouldn't say I need to do anything, but I would, I would like to get to. I think that also comes with age. A lot of the older people, they just are unapologetically themselves, but that is an awesome, awesome trait to have. Again, I'm meeting some wonderful people. I'm having incredible conversations every single day. The cruise is set up where it costs $20,000 to go to for the event, plus all the other things. And then they sponsor young kids to go to. If you're between the 18 ages, 18 to 25, I think you have to pay like 2,500 bucks, but that's actually, it covers the entire 10 days for absolutely everything in there. And uh, the uh, it, it's uh, less than what it costs to put on the event. So you're still getting a huge bargain. So if anyone's under 18 or in between, between the ages of 18 and 25, I'm, I'm going to try and come back next year unless something major happens. I, I go here because I'm friends with all the speakers and the guys who run it. But uh, it's called the Real Estate Guys Cruise. And I, I mean, I've never recommended like anything else. I, I never really would, but this is incredibly valuable because there's 32 young adults who are kicking ass. There's another person who I'm going to try and hire today. I just got to, when you find someone who you know has the exact skill that you're looking for, this guy is one of the best editors I've ever, uh, actually, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm at least going to try and find him work. I don't think I'll be able to hire him because he does much more like fast paced edits and it's not for my videos, but for my clients, but he's incredibly talented at what he does. And I'm trying to find him work because he's so fucking good. And the other guy, he's he's a, a he makes movies. It's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. So uh, everyone else is really cool. Anyway, I I recommend just being around these kinds of people. It really fires you up to want to kick ass in life. Eventually, it just comes down to actually kicking ass, though. And I'm. It's only, I guess it's now it's Wednesday because it's two a.m. We stay up super late every single night because we've been playing ping pong. By the way, I've been coming a ping pong legend because it's so much fun. But anyway, shit, I was saying something and I'm kind of starting to forget. Anyway, I got to go because I'm not going to be able to download this video because the internet on this fucking boat is so bad. Oh, it's going on to Wednesday and I don't get back to Columbia until Sunday. I just want to work again, but I have literally no internet. It's, it's so difficult. So I really want to get back to work. I wish I was getting off this boat and flying out tomorrow, but I have so much work I want to do. Anyway, futile. Just going to keep on enjoying life here. It's going to be after this kind of quote-unquote work vacation, I'm going to be incredibly dialed in. I might do a series of I'm, I'll, I'll shave my beard, and I'll say I'm not going to shave until I make $10,000, and we'll see how long it takes. I think that'd be fun. I'm also kind of on a debt income, so I could choose when I make the $10,000 because I know when I'll get checks from my clients, but I could do it with new clients. I don't know. I just kind of want to do something fun, but I'm also, it's also 2 a.m. and this is, this is a thought I literally just occurred to me. I'm going to end this video.